Yeah, that's what's got a lot of folks in this neighborhood really on edge. You might mention that nightclub. It's still unclear if the folks that were involved in this particular incident had left that nightclub or simply walking by. Regardless, neighbors say they are tired of all the problems on the block where this nightlife is, and they want this club shut down. This River North neighborhood is on edge again after eight people are left wounded when gunfire erupts early Sunday morning. I heard a lot, so I would say definitely more than 10, 10 uh, sounds. And for me, it was more like a fireworks, so, but they were like nonstop. Detectives say the shooting happened near Erie and Orleans around 2.30 this morning as a group of people got into a physical fight near the Bloom restaurant and bar only hours before the Chicago Marathon was to begin. I think it's frightening. Authorities say of the men and women involved in the incident, at least four of the victims were critically wounded, including a man who was shot in the head and a woman who was shot in the stomach. The victims range in age from 23 to 43 years old. All were taken to area hospitals. No one is in custody for the shooting, which remains under investigation. Now, some neighborhood residents blame the violence on the late night nightclub, saying it's not the first time there have been problems on the block. It brings in certain people that normally probably wouldn't be in the neighborhood, especially at certain times of the day. And that's where the issue is. This afternoon, the neighborhood's alderman, Brendan Riley, who has tried unsuccessfully several times to close the bar, says he's asked the Chicago Police Department to issue a summary closure order to make sure the nightclub doesn't reopen before the property can be sold and Bloom evicted. In an emailed statement, the alderman writes in part, these late hour nightclubs are the blight of River North, many catering to gangbangers, drug dealers, and gun-toting patrons. How many more people need to get shot before the city steps up to the plate and starts shutting down these bad operators? Now, we did reach out to the hospitality group that owns this particular bar and restaurant, and they did not respond to our request for a comment. Obviously, area detectives continuing to work this case. And again, it's still unclear what sparked the fight, what sparked the shooting, and uh, if any of those individuals involved were, were armed. They're still trying to figure that out. Meanwhile, the other folks are continuing to recover. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.